What's up, boys? Happy Thursday. Today, I'm up 420 bucks on all my XFAs, and I'm break-even on my Tradeify account. So we're going to go over all of that. Before we get into that, I just want to remind you, the top one trader competition starts November 4th. There's a link in my bio for you to sign up. We're giving away a ton of free stuff. A 200K two-step account. You get this championship belt. I have mine on the floor over there. You get a one-on-one -on -one with Clay. You see the whole thing here on the screen. So make sure you guys sign up. Again, the link for this is in my bio. Now back to Tradezilla. It's showing I made $1,188 today. Really, I'm up 420 on each XFA, which is a little bit more than that. But the way Tradezilla shows it is it actually takes the win that I took technically yesterday, Wednesday, and it adds it to Wednesday's PL here in the journal section. So we're going to go through first trade was this overnight long after the bounce yesterday. If you watched my review yesterday, you know I made money on that bounce into the close, into power hour. So I was anticipating we would potentially drift higher. When we took the start of session changeover of day VWAP out with buyers stepping in, that's where I got long with a five point stop. I wanted to trade this back up to 5860. That was my original target. I got out of the trade before I went to bed, even though I could have locked my stop. I know you're going to say that in the comments and went break even. I didn't do that because I just wanted to start to claw back some of the losses. So that was the first trade made, I think, 200 bucks on that trade. Then pre market, I was short into the unemployment news. We had a run up this morning, and I explained this on stream as well when we were live uh, at Market Open on ASFX TV. But we had the run up pre market that I felt uh, was going to lead to some profit taking going into Market Open. News was not bullish enough to sustain any new highs. So I felt really good about the short. I was in probably four or five minutes before the news came out. I was just anticipating we would pull back. For two reasons. One, New York VWAP was below us. <clears throat> Start of session VWAP was below us. Excuse me, not New York. New York hadn't opened yet. Also, we had an order block at 58, I think 53, 58, 54. So there was orders on bookmap pulling me down below. And that's where you can see this candle flushes right at market open. And that's where I was full out of this trade. So at that point in the day, I'm up like 430 bucks. Then I take this long with everybody at market open at 10 o'clock. So this is like after the 15 minute opening range is set. I wanted to be long in the opening range low. I was on a coaching call, so I missed it. But I felt like after we took New York VWAP and still held it nicely, that I thought we could make a move out of the top of the range, fulfilling that double break stat that we use on stream all the time from Edgeful. That didn't happen. I watched this trade for a $10 loss, which ended up being a good move because yeah, I was in it smaller. So I would have been down $100 if I took full stop which means on the day I would have been, you know, instead of plus 430, I would have been plus 330. But I said, I'd rather be plus 420 than plus 330. So prioritizing green in general keeps me more profitable today than, yes, I still would have been green, but I kept most of those profits by cutting that third trade quickly. And then in power hour, we took longs here, which is a shit entry. I should have been in lower here at the bottom of the opening range low. That was the winning price. The 5842s, 5843s were much better for longs today. So I was late, which means I had to deal with pullback. It double bottoms nicely for a higher low. So my stop was safe and I was able to wash this trade for basically plus $11 on my Tradeify account at the end of the day. And that was on power hour too. So if you come into Tradezilla and you look at just my Tradeify account like this, you can see one trade took some drawdown, but then dug it out plus $11. So that's it. So a pretty good bounce back, to be honest, uh, not a full bounce back on the XFAs, right? But after losing total 1900 yesterday to make 1100 back, we're in a good spot. Still up on the month, $2,000 on all my funded accounts, 1.8, excuse me, 1.48 profit factor, 90% day win rate. So first red day of the month, I did miss some days for the hurricane and when we were traveling, but still a really good look in October. So I'm glad I was able to bounce back today with focus. I think that's my my secret here. If you look at my reports, and I talk about this a lot with my Trade Zella stuff, my max consecutive losing days on these funded accounts is one. So I don't, and you see it right above my head here, I don't have back-to-back -back red days. And that's because I prioritize aggressive profit taking after the red day. So yeah, I might lose some money, but I usually make it back within you know a couple of days. So hopefully I'm green every day this week now, as you can see here on the right side. Let's just finish that off tomorrow, and then next week we'll finish the month strong. So make sure you're signed up for the competition. On Saturday, I've got a new podcast going out. We're doing a giveaway, five 50K accounts if you tune into the live premiere on YouTube. So make sure you guys check that out. The Day Trading Show, wherever you're listening to podcasts. I'll see you guys tomorrow on stream, only on ASFX TV.